I'm no good in the morning. Okay. What are we doing today? Oh, don't mind him. That's Sourdough Slim, a.k.a. Bray Fogle. He said he's got a lost gold mine somewhere up here in the hills, and I think I found it. But that's for another video. Ain't that right? Okay. Okay, so what are we doing? Well, I got to have my coffee. In order to do that, I got to start a fire. Now, I thought I'd do a special series on how to start the fires out in the wild in case any of you prospectors get abandoned out in the desert or lost or you just don't have any matches and you decide to stay the night. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how anybody can make a fire. Because remember, fire is not only light, but it's also heat and protection. Things that you're going to need if you're out in the middle of nowhere, which is where we're at right now. So, I'm going to show you how to make a fire with something that everybody's got. Now, I've seen a lot of videos where people say, oh, you can use steel wool, or you can use a battery. Yeah, I know it, but a lot of people don't carry that. So what are we going to do? Well, I figured if you're a prospector and you're up in the hills, you're going to have at least a flashlight. And I'm going to show you how to make a fire with just this, a flashlight. I know it sounds crazy, but I can do it, and I'm going to show you too. So come on, let's go. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're saying, Jeff, you got a gun. Why can't you just start the fire with that? Well, I'll show you why. Because of this. Because it don't work. That's why. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take that parabolic mirror off your flashlight. It doesn't matter if it works or not. This is the part that you want. So what you're going to do is you just assemble this entire piece and get the parabolic mirror out. Don't break it if it's ceramic or glass, all right? And don't get your fingerprints on it either because you want it as shiny as possible. Okay, now, the only thing you really want out of that is this. And this is a parabolic mirror. See that? Make sure it's shiny. All right. All we're going to do is we're going to harness all the rays of the sun into one focal point right in the middle. And that's going to be strong enough to ignite anything. And I suggest getting some tinder that's super, super dry. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put it right there in the middle where the bulb would normally sit and the rays will concentrate down and ignite it. Now for today's demonstration, I'm going to be using char cloth. It's a lot faster and if you're going to be stuck out in the wild, I strongly suggest that you make some of this stuff and it's really easy to make. Now I'm going to show you how to make it later. But anyway, so you get a piece of char cloth or a piece of this dry tinder and you're going to take your parabolic mirror and you're going to stick it right in the middle like that. Now the fun part is you're going to focus that sun right on those rays into the very center like that. And you're going to wait. See a smoke? And once it's lit, you take it out, be real gentle with it, put it in your tinder bundle that you got ready. You remember that part, right? Smoky, right? Somebody will find it for sure.
and fire. Voila. Come on, baby. There you go. How's that? Now I can get my coffee, because I need it. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. I'm gonna put that right there. Give me some hot coffee. Ho oh, ho, yeah. Good thing it's only 120. I can finally start my day, get some coffee. Yeah, hot coffee. Ooh, listen to that. Nothing like a little hot coffee in the morning, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Mm mm mm. Look at that. I think it's molasses, too. Yeah, hoo, 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 hoo. and just as good. Okay, we'll put that back out in the fire. Ooh, look at that steam. Mm. Man, that's good coffee. Ooh, I'm ready to go now. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about char cloth because char cloth is going to make it so much easier for you out here in the wild if you're going to be out here for more than a day or so because if you try just lighting this, it's going to take about 10 minutes or so unless you got just the right conditions. So how do you make char cloth? Well, look around for an old can. These old uh, tobacco cans that you find everywhere are fantastic. They got a little lid on them and you can use these. Now, if you're lucky enough to have an Altoids can with you, you can use that. And you can see where I've used this one in the past. But the idea is, is that you're gonna, you're gonna have to ruin one of your cotton shirts, is that you're gonna take some cotton from your t-shirt or whatever you got, and you're gonna cut it up into squares. And then you're gonna cram it down inside of here like that. And then you're gonna take your pocket knife. You wanna make sure you always got yourself a pocket knife because a pocket knife will save your life. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that pocket knife and you're gonna cut a hole into that can, just like such. See that? You got a nice little vent hole right there. So, then what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take a piece of your cotton shirt, tear a piece of it off. No, I ain't tearing my shirt today. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick it inside that can, see that? And then you'll close the lid on it, and you'll throw it in the fire like that. Now, like I said, with an Altoid can, you could do the same thing. And of course, you can see where I've got lots of char cloth in here. Now, what you're gonna do, is when you're watching that can, smoke's gonna come out of that hole. And when the smoke stops coming out of the hole, then you know that it's done. And then when you open the can up, you should have a whole bunch of this black cloth that you see right there in my hand. See that? Okay, that's called char cloth or charred cloth. And basically it's just cooked carbon uh, t-shirts or any kind of a carbon fabric. So, that's gonna make your fires start so much faster. And uh, if you have that and you're gonna be out in the wild for a couple days, that's what I strongly recommend. Whew wee. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode on how you make a fire using a parabolic mirror from a flashlight. If you enjoyed today's episode, please rate, share, and subscribe. And as always, leave me a comment because I'd like to know what you think about all this. Mm. So until next time, this is Jeff Williams with AskJeffWilliams.com saying you're tired, cold, and scared, and your spirits are really low. We'll just think back to today's episode. Brought to you by Buckskin Joe! Yeah.